Welcome. Welcome to the Spiritual Vault. I am Mulam, aka Nikki Love, your African indigenous traditional healer. I'm Brother Adinkra, your African indigenous traditional healer. How y'all doing tonight, family? Alright, so we know, well, I'm going to start yarning again because I'm tired, y'all. I had three readings today. So I'm a little bit on the side, but I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. But we had to come on because people have been asking us about the ancestral altars, okay? So we have to start really teaching people how to set up ancestral altars. Now, there's many ways to set them up, okay? Um, many people set them up differently. In Africa, a lot of the shrines are outside or they have their own places, depending on what tribe you're in, okay? So, first let's talk about, let's think, why do you think it's important in 2022 that the people start setting up ancestral altars? Um, number one, I, I feel it's important because the ancestors will guide. They're wanting us to uh, acknowledge them. A lot of, and why I say that is because a lot of people are um, coming to us or seeing their ancestors. The ancestors are coming to them. Or sometimes uh, we even had a person today that got a reading today that um, some somebody kept touching them, and they thought it was a, a demon. But well, when I read it, she seemed it was one of their ancestors trying to get their attention. So it's meant, you know. There's many reasons why, but I think overall, the most important thing is for the guidance, the spiritual guidance. And we're like the only culture that doesn't really just tap into our ancestors and ask them for guidance. The Chinese do it, the uh, Hindu do it, the Indians do it. Everybody does it but us, and uh, we need to get back to our original culture. That's right. Not only that, we're in an energy and a time where people are waking up at an alarming rate. So people are waking up all over, and we still have to continue to teach. You got people from 20 years ago, yeah, I know this at the end of, but you got to remember, people are waking up every day. So a lot of people are not aware of their culture and not aware of the importance of reverence in the ancestors. Every other culture, Chinese, Indian, Japanese, they all pay homage to Africa. They all pay homage to their ancestors. Even back in Africa, where you have a lot of the Igbo or Christianity and Muslim, the Muslims and the, and, the, and the Christians still pay homage to their ancestors, okay? They still have shrines to their ancestors. So in 2022, is very important because the energy of the ancestors are going to be rising a lot more this year. And also the ancestors, you, you want to do that because they're going to work on your behalf. They're going to see things you don't see. They're going to alert you to things that are coming, certain situations that are coming. They're going to even alert you of the type of people that you're working around, that you're uh, dealing with, that they might, not, they might not be feeling too much because they see certain things with them. They may see that this person talks behind your back. They may see that this person may lead you astray. They mm -hmm. may see that um, this person may pull you off your spiritual journey. So these are a lot of reasons why we must, we must, we must pay homage to our ancestors and reverence them and go to them for guidance. And not only that, a lot of us in America, especially black people, are getting into the traditions, going to these guys that they're reading about online and learning about, but they're not reverencing their ancestors first. You must pay homage to your ancestors first. You must pay homage to them. They trump the Orishas. You got to pay homage to your ancestors first. So now, knowing that this is 2022, we're coming into an awakening, we're becoming all spiritual, it's important to get ready to set your ancestors and start rising up the energy of your ancestors, okay? What you want to do, get you a table, or if you're lucky to be in a place that's hot all the time, you can do it outside. Put pictures of your ancestors there. Get pictures that only have 
ancestors in me. Don't put no people that's still alive <laughs> on your ancestor altar, okay? Yeah, because a lot of people do do that. A lot of people do that, and you don't want to do that. Because the other person... Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Is, um... The other person... Y'all gotta... Look, I gotta spray some lights, y'all. He just sneezed, y'all. I gotta spray lights, y'all. Um, we got a lot of, uh... You know when the when, when, you know when the when winter comes, you haven't had your heat on for a while. You turn your heat on, all that dust is uh, collected in your heat. You turn it on, it just started coming out. Man, this dust is really killing me. It's got my nose itching like crazy. Right, hope you all right, y'all. 